Welcome back to the channel. Imagine your life as a game with different paths leading to success, fulfillment, and happiness. The overarching goals that most of us play are status, money, truth, and freedom. But what exactly are these games and which one are you currently playing? Why is it important to reflect on this? Well, if you've unconsciously chosen the wrong game, you may be setting yourself up for a life full of stress, anxiety, frustration, and self-doubt. And life is way too short to be playing the wrong game. Ideally, we want to be playing a game that increases our chances of achieving success, fulfillment, and peace of mind. So, status, money, truth, or freedom. What's it gonna be? Which game are you ready to master? Let's dive in and find out. And let's start out with the status game. Simply put, humans have evolved over time to value status. We are biologically and culturally wired to seek status as a means of securing resources and social standing. The very survival of our ancestors depended on their ability to navigate complex social hierarchies. This evolutionary legacy still drives our pursuit of status today. It shapes the way we work, how we socialize, and how we make important decisions. And yet today, we live in a world where most basic needs are met due to the incredible technological advancements that were made during the last decades and centuries. The abundance of resources and opportunities today contrasts very sharply to the scarcity faced by our ancestors. In addition, our world today offers new avenues for status through social media, professional achievements, and consumerism, all of which intensify our desire for external validation. This can definitely lead to stress, anxiety, and a general sense of dissatisfaction as we're constantly comparing ourselves with others. While gaining status might feel rewarding in the short term, it often leads to a never-ending cycle that doesn't bring lasting happiness or peace of mind. The pursuit is largely outside of our control, as status depends not only on our actions, but also on the fluctuating status and opinions of others. The status game is a zero-sum game. One person's gain is another person's loss. Unfortunately, I think this is the game that most of us start playing by default. Everyone around us is in their own small bubble, trying to outstatus their friends, their colleagues, or their neighbors. Let me know in the comments below if you've experienced something like this. Next comes the money game. The appeal to play the money game is indeed very strong. Unlike status, money is a tangible resource that directly impacts our quality of life. Historically, accumulating wealth was essential for security, stability, and comfort. The desire to build wealth is deeply ingrained in our culture and economy, often seen as a measure of success and capability. Many who relentlessly pursue money are ultimately chasing status. Why do unhappy, overworked millionaires keep pushing themselves so hard? Often it's about status. Millionaires want to be decamillionaires and centimillionaires want to be billionaires. I keep the status and the money game separate though because there are many that are playing the status game that are not playing the money game. Think for example of politicians who may look down on rich business owners for chasing money and not power, or also consider that in different countries there are some professions that come with a lot of prestige yet modest pay. The problem with playing the money game is that money only partially correlates to happiness. Research indicates that earning more money does increase happiness, but only up to a certain income level, which is often cited at around $75,000 per year. Beyond this point, higher income does not significantly enhance emotional well-being and life evaluation. Let's be very clear here. There's nothing inherently wrong with money. Money is a very important tool that we need to understand. It's the craving for more money that can be damaging for you. It chases money too much and it can come at the cost of very important aspects of your life, such as relationships, health, or personal fulfillment. Like the status game, the goalposts in the money game constantly change. And unfortunately, playing this game won't bring lasting peace of mind either. And now we arrive at the third possibility. Are you playing, or perhaps you know someone around you who's playing the truth game? Unlike the status in money games, where the focus is on external validation or on material wealth, the truth game is driven by a profound passion for uncovering truths and for solving problems. The truth game is played by people who are intrinsically motivated, who dedicate themselves for their work for its own sake. Individuals playing the truth game value the pursuit of knowledge or the creation of something meaningful. Examples would include artists, scientists, and writers that are driven by curiosity and creativity and who are not playing or care about status or money. Individuals playing the truth game would continue to work on their passion, even if that meant living on the line of poverty. In the truth game, the journey is as important as the destination. This game emphasizes the importance of authenticity, intellectual integrity, and personal growth, 
and offers a path to deep satisfaction and purpose that transcends the superficial rewards of status or money. An artist may spend years perfecting their craft, driven by a need to communicate their vision to others. A scientist may be fueled by solving complex problems and advancing human understanding. A writer may find fulfillment in the act of creation and the impact their words can have on their readers. In my view, the truth game is the first game that we've seen so far that may provide lasting fulfillment by providing a deep sense of purpose. Quick 10 second pause. If you're still here and enjoying today's content, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to support our channel's growth. And the fourth possibility is to play the freedom game. The freedom game is about autonomy and self-determination. It prioritizes personal liberty and the ability to make choices without excessive constraints. Players in this game seek to maximize control over their time, enabling them to pursue a lifestyle that aligns with their values and passions. If you're playing the freedom game, true wealth isn't about the absolute amount of money you have, but about the control over your time that wealth can provide. There is substantial evidence that individuals who have more control over their lives report higher levels of life satisfaction and well-being. People are often less happy today because they have relinquished control over their time to external demands and distractions, such as jobs, social media, and consumer culture. And yet a lot of people, especially millennials and Gen Z, increasingly prioritize work-life balance, mental well-being, and the pursuit of passions over traditional career pathways. It's not surprising to find that workers aged 18 to 34 are almost 60% more willing than older colleagues to leave their job if hybrid working conditions were removed. For younger generations, freedom and meaning are key components of a fulfilling life rather than status or money. At its extreme, winning the freedom game means achieving financial independence, which we cover extensively in my blog and in different videos on the channel. This occurs when the income from your invested assets is able to cover your monthly expenses, freeing you from the dependence of a paycheck. However, it's not necessary to take things to the extreme. Freedom means different things to different people and it's up to each individual to find out what works best for them. The key takeaway from today's video is to reflect on these different games, which often unconsciously drive our decisions. For me, understanding these games helps to explain other people's behavior. Why did this person do X? Ah, this friend or colleague perhaps is playing the status game. Recognizing that this isn't my game makes it easier for me to let things go. Don't waste your time. By consciously choosing not to play the status and the money game and instead opting for the truth or the freedom game, or perhaps a combination of both, will increase our chances of leading a fulfilling life and the possibility of redirecting our life energy towards meaningful achievements and personal growth rather than seeking social approval. I hope this video provided food for thought. I left you a question in the comments below. Also, if you made it to here, please remember to like and subscribe to support our channel's growth. Take care and see you in the next video.